Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. As you've seen by the title of this video, it's going to be something out of the box. But trust me when I tell you, it's going to be really amazing and something different for you all to try this fasting season. It will be even great if you make this for Diwali. Your guests will be super impressed. So let's start this recipe with our skillet on a medium heat. And to that I'm adding in chili infused coconut oil. If you don't have it, you can use all avocado oil. I'm also going in with some avocado oil. And we're going to add in a few cumin seeds, also known as jira seeds. And a few fenugreek or meaty seeds. You all know I always start my curries with this. So we're going to let that toast until it starts to turn darker brown in color. And then we're going to go in with some curry leaves. If you don't have curry leaves, it's optional. In goes diced onion, pimento pepper diced, and we're going to saute until the onion is translucent. After which, we'll go in with one garlic clove minced and some bell peppers saute for about a minute season with some salt and a sprig of thyme continue to saute until the peppers are tender now you want to make sure now you drop your heat to a low because we're going to add in our curry powder and we want a really light sauce we don't want it really heavy so don't add more than the suggested amount of curry we're going to toast that on low for about a minute after which we'll add in some water now to create our sauce and help the curry cook further so let it come up to a simmer if you want it saucier of course you can add more water you can even use a vegetable stock in place or a fish stock in goes coconut milk powder this is going to help it get really creamy and silky mix that in and allow it to stay on your stove and let it simmer So while that is simmering, let's go ahead and put our ravioli to boil. Now I'm using this mushroom ravioli and I love this brand because you actually get really nice pieces of mushroom in here. So I'm going to place it into my boiling water and I did not salt my water because that curry sauce is going to add the flavor and the salt to it. So you want to boil it for at least two minutes. You don't want it to get soft or mushy. And then you'll add it to that cream curry sauce and it's going to continue to cook here now I'm cooking it out until the sauce thickens and it can coat the mushrooms so it's going to take about a minute for that to happen and this is what it should look like now if you guys wanted to add in some cooked crab or shrimp or any type of lobster meat by all means go ahead and do that and it will make a for a great recipe so I'm gonna finish with some freshly chopped tomatoes I don't want the tomatoes to break down too much and it's time to serve so how easy and delicious does it look I'm garnishing with some chopped chives or scallions or you can use parsley and that's it this was absolutely delicious my husband really enjoyed it the baby enjoyed it the curry cream sauce is not too heavy and it's something that my family loves so i hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe if you make it comment down below and let me know what you think thank you all so much for joining me today do remember to stay safe and i'll see you in my next video bye everyone